Hi, my name is Susanna, and I'll give you an update on the latest additions in Access Site Designer. Let's start with the device overview, which now includes more information. In addition to the description, we've now added links for easy access to the device's datasheet and product page on access.com. You can also see how many accessories you've added and which scenario you've selected. Last but not least, we've added a technical specification with important features. Let's continue with the map view, where we made some improvements to the measuring tool. Instead of measuring one distance on the map or floor plan, you can now measure several. Just go from one point to another. You can see the total distance at the final point, as well as the distance for each section as you go along. We've also made it easier to request special pricing for your project. Go to your bill of materials and click on Request Project Pricing. You still have the option to download the bill of materials in JSON format and send it to your distributor. But if you have the required access to Access Partner Web, you can open the project pricing tool and submit your bill of materials directly for project pricing. Fill in the form and submit, and your bill of materials is automatically included. Last but not least, we've added the option to merge two existing projects. Let's have a look. In this existing project, there are already a few devices added. You can also see the devices on the map, which have a couple of preset locations. To merge this project with another one, we'll go to the project overview. We'll click on import from project, and we select our project, either from a file or from the list. When the project has been merged, we might want to change its name. When we check the list of devices, we can see some additions. And in the map view, we can see the added devices and all preset locations. I hope you found this video of interest. Thank you for watching.